Remakes, remasters, reimaginings, whatever you want to call them, the act of re-releasing old video game IPs is big business. I mean, take the recently released Resident Evil HD Remastered, for example. That's like the 32nd Resident Evil remake or something. Remakes let you experience a golden oldie from yesteryear on today's technology, but sometimes the developers go above and beyond a simple copy and paste job to deliver you an experience that many feel is even better than that of the original. So behold, here's a list of five games that I believe have been improved by their remakes. What the hell is this thing? Oddworld New and Tasty is a ground-up reworking of Abe's Odyssey, keeping the characters, the storyline, the puzzles and the level design, but chucking out the old assets and the flip-screen progression in favour of brand new 3D character models, backgrounds and cinematics, and scrolling levels enhanced by a playful camera that tilts and moves in close to get the most out of the glorious artwork. Thankfully, the checkpointing's a lot more generous and new and tasty, so you'll hopefully burst fewer blood vessels than you did back in 97. And there's a handy quick save option now in place, along with a new range of difficulty settings. Like the best remakes, it changes just about everything to give you back the game almost exactly as you remember it. And the game you remember is still a vicious sideways glance at the way the industrialised world preys on the environment and on the dispossessed. <laughs> I tell you what, you just can't beat a game with a deep, mature story. Oh. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Back in the day, if someone told me that Nintendo would find a way to make The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time better, I'd have laughed in their face and thrown a Deku nut at their crotch. But that's exactly what the big N Gondun did with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS. So I guess that means they get to laugh and throw nuts at me then. Oh. It's probably no surprise that one of the best games of all time gets one of the best remasterings of all time, with Nintendo making the most of all the new abilities the 3DS had to offer. Want to blast out a tune on your ocarina or fiddle around with your inventory? The 3DS touchscreen has your back. Want to aim your projectile weapons in first-person viewpoint while spinning around on the spot like an angry drunk trying to chase his reflection in a miniature mirror? Blam! 3DS gyroscope action in your face! And then of course there's the super cute 3D visuals which sport updated graphics and an increase from the original's 20 frames per second to a much smoother 30 FPS. Ocarina of Time 3D may be played on a tiny screen, but in motion and in full on 3D, this game just oozes charm and personality. If you have a 3DS and do not own this game, then you my friend are doing the 3DS all wrong. The original version of Chaos came out in 1985. That's 30 whole years ago if I've managed to use my calculator correctly. I was six in 1985, the game came out on a now obsolete tape-based format, and I'm guessing that at that point in human history, the majority of you viewers still hadn't been ejaculated into existence. Julian Gollop's turn-based strategy game of battling wizards fascinated me when I was little. The sparse black battleground and simplistic sprites may not look like much nowadays, but back then they fired my imagination. Oh, the battles we had, my friends and I, huddled around a tiny TV, frantically trying to cover each other in gooey blobs or successfully cast a rare golden dragon spell. Now in early access, the remake Chaos Reborn captures the feel of its 30-year-old predecessor perfectly, while giving it a brand new look and a whole load of depth which would have been impossible to realise on the ZX Spectrum. Helmed once again by Julian Gollop, the current build of Chaos Reborn is far from being finished, with multiple game modes still in development, but the main online multiplayer portion is 100% playable right now, and that makes it a must-buy for anyone old enough to remember playing the original. Or anyone old enough to remember this other piece of wonderful wizardry action. Probably one of the best fan remakes of any game ever is Black Mesa, a remake of Valve's much-loved first-person shooter stroke puzzler, Half-Life. 
The tale of Black Mesa's creation is almost as epic as the game itself. Built using Valve's Source Engine over the course of eight years by a team of 40 volunteers, Black Mesa was finally approved by Valve for distribution on Steam in 2012, and you can grab it from there right now for the princely sum of zero dollars and zero pence. That means it's free. Not only did this remake drastically improve the graphics and lighting, but the developers also shortened or modified areas of the game that didn't make any sense or were a little bit boring. The added inclusion of Source's Havoc physics engine, which was absent in the original release, gives players more freedom when it comes to solving puzzles or navigating obstacles rather than just relying on scripted animations that were present before. The biggest and best difference from the original release, though, is the addition of the Chuckle Brothers, who appear Easter egg style on mugs dotted throughout the game world. Ten out of ten, would Chuckle Brothers again? Pretty sure this isn't a good thing, but in recent years, Capcom have been much better at remaking their old games than they have been at creating new ones. DuckTales is one of the most fondly remembered platformers on the NES, and for Capcom, it probably would have been a week or two's work at most to whack the original up on the Wii U Virtual Console and sit back to watch the cash roll into their money bin. Luckily, the powers that be didn't give a duck about this easy route, and as such, 2013's remastering is an excellent example of how retro remakes should be done. Ditching the pixels and featuring brand new hand-drawn character sprites and 3D modelled levels, the remaster now looks identical to the Disney animation it was based on. The five original levels have been expanded and brand new cinematics have been added so that people can finally make sense of the location hopping story. There's a new tutorial level, a new final level, and in this version you can even take a swim in Scrooge McDuck's money bin, whenever you like. Kasploosh! Not only that, but Capcom and Disney also managed to bring in the original cast to voice the game, including 95-year-old Alan Young, who was the original voice of Scrooge Muck Duck. Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Oh, bless him, he doesn't sound a day over ratey. Oh, and also they remade all the music in the game, so good luck getting this theme tune out of your head for the rest of the day. Sorry! So there you go, those were five games that I believe were made better by their remakes. But you probably don't agree or think that maybe I've missed one or two or more. Either way, you can get it off your chest by whacking your brain thoughts into the comments below and as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more video game goodery. Good blob!